Alright, All right, family, it's your girl Mary Lee. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Lee. Today is supposed to be December the 5th, 2018. And I'm going to read this off to you real fast, okay? Because, you know, Tupac Amar Shakur, a.k.a. real name, Crooks. You understand what I'm saying? Birthday is right here. June 16th. And if you turn this six right here into a nine, it'd be 1995, the year I gave Oprah Winfrey in the streets, you know, my story for real, for real, before I got railroaded for real, for real, for real, for real. But if you turn this six right here into a nine, that would become June 19th, my ex-girlfriend Donna Marie Evans, a.k.a. Cookie, birthday, June 19th, okay? And I met her on the King, King Drive bus when I was about 18 and she was 27. Okay? So let me run this down to you. 79th Street, Shuffle, Mac Arthur. I'm the Arthur. I'm Mary Mac, okay? Benning, Art Glass 2015. If you add the 15 and the 2, that's 17. That's the year I gave Oprah Winfrey, 1984, my story. 1985, the color purple came out. I told you motherfuckers, not even for a hundred million dollars. And that's what the, the movie, the color purple, grossed when it came out. Am I going to change my story? Layered with these colorful grid patterns is information originally pushed in the Chatham Citizen newspaper on June 16, 1965. We already talked about that, though. And reproduced by the artist to symbolize all members of this community, past and present. The printed text includes local marriage, announcements, names, and addresses of citizens elected to the Chatham Avalon Park Community Council and a feature article about Miss. Mahalia Jackson. I'm sure all you old timers know who that is. If not, Google her. She's a gospel singer. The celebrated gospel singer who lived at 8358 South Indiana Avenue. Just call it Indian Avenue for all you slow people. Artist MacArthur Benning is renowned for his signature. I keep telling you, my signature is going to be worth more than Michael Jordan. It already is technique of layering rich colors and textures with the historical text and images to document his African American heritage. Born in Mississippi, money Mississippi is where all the money at, in 1946 he began working in the cotton fields at age four and in 1973, take a good look at that, because 1973 is the year I, Mary Lee Davis, was in the Sun-Times newspaper for child abuse, okay? Was distinguished as the first African-American to earn a Master of Fine Arts degree from the prestigious Cranbrook Academy of Art in Michigan. Mr. Byron resides in Chicago and has been a member of the Fine Arts, and if you switch arts around, you get racks faculty at Columbia College since 1993, okay? So bottom line is, everybody know that Tupac's first movie was called Juice. And I believe his last movie was called Game Related, okay? But in 1995, I saved his life because I felt and my higher power told me that he was in danger, okay? So he had to fake his death like Machiavelli, you understand what I'm saying, in order for me to tell this story and for him to come out one day and tell the world that Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Mack, saved his ass. And if he don't, all that bullshit he was talking was nothing but a bunch of shit, okay? I believe he was an informant because his mama name is supposed to be Davis now. Google that shit. You understand what I'm saying? And both of them were smoking like a broke stove. I don't drink, drug, or smoke. For real. My sobriety date is 1997 Christmas. Okay? 
Real talk. And ever since then, the motherfuckers been trying to kill me. Why? Because niggas can't stay sober. And that's the truth. Telling a lie. You understand what I'm saying? So, crooks, straighten your act up. Tell the people that I am more than above the rim, nigga, on your ass on this one. Okay? Now, I tried to take a picture of this before, but it wouldn't go through and shit. So I had to buy some more memory, because that's all they want, is another drink and some money from a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Get a fucking job, go to the Safer Foundation, all you losers that came out of jail, and get some damn help and stay out my damn business. Real motherfucking talk. Come see it for yourself, pass this video on, but most importantly, don't forget where you came from, and that's your mama. You understand what I'm saying? And all you Mississippi ass motherfuckers with my money, you're gonna come running. Cause I know that's where the money at. My city don't look like shit for nothing. Alright, this your girl Mary Lee signing off saying, Don't die on my behalf. What I say, uh, don't die in vain, nigga. And that's the truth. Step your game up, Tupac. It's weak, nigga. Stop killing off your friends.